Colonel, uh, as you're sitting there, uh, thank you for making time for us this evening. Want to get your initial reactions to this and the way it will likely be received amongst the military community, especially those that went to Afghanistan? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, Prince Harry enjoyed enormous popularity in the armed forces, both for his, his, his determination to serve in Afghanistan on two occasions and also for the help he gave to wounded soldiers, partly through Invictus Games. Um, unfortunately, he's blown most of that away now. Um, and a combination of his turning on his own family, the royal family, which means such a lot to the armed forces, and his attempts to exploit his own service uh, for his own publicity purposes. And we, we only need to think back about what he said about how he killed so many Taliban members uh, a, a short while ago in his memoir, Spare. Uh, for me, the greatest problem with that memoir wasn't boasting about killing Taliban, terrorists of course that was his job and, and he's quite right to do so but he did say and i think it was for the benefit of his woke friends in california that uh, that he was conditioned by the army to treat them as subhuman as less than human beings which is simply not true but plays well to the woke agenda so i think those things uh, have have combined have led him to be I wouldn't say vilified exactly, but certainly treated with much greater suspicion and much less affection in the armed forces than he was before. OK, so you really think he's, he's gone down a woke path. Let's come into the studio for some royal analysis. Nina, is this uh, what could get Harry back into the good graces of the British people? Well, I've watched the first two episodes of the, of the series and it is fantastic. It is very compelling. The stories are wonderful, it's beautifully filmed, it's very, very emotional, it's actually very moving. You actually, I find it hard to watch without crying at some of the stories of these incredibly brave, um, afflicted soldiers and, mm. and what the games mean to, mean to them. But, to, but to, just to pick out those two little phrases, and, and to, uh, you would imagine that the whole thing is about Harry whining on. Mm. It's not at all that. It's the story of the games, the story of the people, and the story of what the games mean to them. And those two comments that you've picked out when he said he didn't get therapy, mm. when, he, when he said, he may have been advised to get therapy, but you, you need to have more than that. I think what he was... Um, pointing out was that there's a, the great loneliness when you come back from active service, and all the all the um, the servicemen said that there's a loneliness. You're on you're on your own, and and you know he said it's only when you're in a fetal position, lying on the ground, crying, that you realise that you do need something. And he went he went for that, and so I don't see the I just don't see the problem. He's he's done a brilliant job with the Invictus Games. Mm. He continues to do that, and. Uh, and I think this will go a long way to showing, you know, it's very unfair to pick out these tiny things. It's a mm. five-part series, and these are two comments that less than 20 seconds each. Mm. Lynn, bringing you in for your reaction. Uh, funny enough, I do echo a lot of what you say. Mm. Um, you know, there's so many people that have watched this and they've been empowered, but the only thing I would agree with with some of the commentary is that it is being slightly disingenuous and I think it is uh, almost offensive to the services because um, armies, the navy, they offer counselling after and it would have been nice for him to say maybe I didn't take the support, maybe I didn't reach out but there was that support available to me because as we know he did receive therapy when he was 28, he did receive the therapy after um, Diana, his mother's death. So it, it's a bit frustrating to hear how he's said it but like you said, I think that we're picking or the media's picking on these tiny little mm. things where, you know, why don't we hear some of the amazing things where he's donated masses amounts from even his liberal case, he's donated from his memoir, he's uh, going to donate from this. And we don't seem to ever gravitate towards the positives that he's doing. It's always these tiny little incidentals that we hone in on. And I think that's mm. just massively negative. Do you think you can understand then why he 
creates these Netflix series, these six-part series, it's his way of kind of countering that narrative. Yeah, and I think, to be honest, I am one of those who was getting a bit sick and tired of, of Harry uh, seeming to be like a lost puppy behind Meghan and everything was all about, you know, what they've gone through, which is not always a negative, it, that's their truth. However, we remember Harry for being this sort of, you know, about the Invictus Games, about his passion for those um, servicemen and what they went through. And I think this is actually going to win the hearts of many mm -hmm. uh, instead of him just, him and Meghan talking about much to do about nothing. This has real meaning, so I'm glad that, th that he's done this. Let's bring Colonel Richard Kemp back in then, uh, listening into all of that. Um, very clear here in the studio, people think this is probably a good move in terms of rehabilitating his image, and especially with regards to the Invictus Games, which many consider to be quite a triumph. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally, I have to say, I'm not interested in rehabilitating his image. I, I really don't care what his image is. I think the important thing is the wounded soldiers who take part in the Evictus Games. That is the only thing that's of any significance. And, I, you know, I would really question what, what stress he was under during his tenure of service in Afghanistan. Yes, he, he insisted on going against opposition to fight and to put himself in danger, but... What was he doing? He was he was fighting at very, very remote distance. Not the kind of thing, in my view, that would result in, in serious stress and PTSD compared to many of the other soldiers who lost limbs, had their lives shattered, and in some cases, tragically were killed. I think, you know, I don't, I don't think we should be looking at his image as being something of huge importance to this, except mm -hmm. in as much as he can bring publicity and, and bring public attention to these extremely brave soldiers who gave so much. And I think that this documentary has that benefit and his name being on it is extremely important, of course, because it brings publicity to their cause, but only if it results in, I would say, financial and medical assistance to them, not for any other reason. I don't, I don't personally buy all the, the need to rehabilitate his image, etc. Mm. I think, you know, I think, I think the key issue is how much he can bring to the cause of wounded soldiers who still suffer so much today and still don't, in many cases, receive the support they need. Can I just say, excellent can point, I, Colonel. Yes, please, can I just Nina. Say, I think that's terribly unfair of, of Richard to say that, that he couldn't see what, what could possibly stress Prince Harry out. It's not for one human being to say to another what can stress them out. Anything can stress them out. And I think he, he, he proved that he was brave and he proved in, in all sorts of areas that he, that he was willing to... And, and, and in, if you read Spare and if you watch this series, you'll see that he, um, he, he empathises so much with his, his, um, his comrades, he admires them, he respects them. And the fact that he started up in Victor's Games to, to help them and yeah, to help it's them is it's it's a huge positive so, thing. Sorry and the, the, interesting thing is, the interesting thing is, when, when I, when I don't know more about the Invictus Games than anybody else yeah. does. And I just think, well, it's, it's people who are afflicted physically. But in fact, the second part of the series shows so much of, but the, do you not of think the mental it's, and it's emotional become, trauma. Do you not think and it's so, about, it's become hidden, like the, the, the Harry Fest? Disability. I think the, the no, it's hugely not Harry disappointing Fest. thing for me is, this is about six individuals who obviously had uh, struggles, a hard time, mm. possibly lost limbs. We should be focusing on them. We, we shouldn't are. be looking at Harry. Yes, he's yes. going to bring in publicity, but we're all here talking about Harry when the conversation should because not even be about Harry. Because, because the media picks on Harry. Mm. If you just watch the series... But he knows that. And he no, should no, have no, no. taken himself away a little bit. It should have he's been about hard, those individuals. He's hardly in it. He, he, present, he's, 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 he presents it and he, he pops up occasionally, just reinforcing, or you, or you see him in a part of a meeting. But it is the story of these heroes. It's the story of these individuals. And that's what makes it so compelling and so moving. And the fact of the matter is, he has facilitated this. He has made this happen. Without him, this would not have happened. Without him, there wouldn't be the games. Without him, there wouldn't be um, this series, which I hope people will watch because it is, is fantastically inspirational. It really is. Well, let's put that to Richard then. Could it be possible that we'd have uh, all the publicity around the Invictus Games and everything that he's done uh, with that cause without having Harry feature? Is it necessary to have him there to get people interested in it? Well, I don't think it's necessary, but I think it is, it's pretty important. You know, you, you need, in, 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 in today's world, you do need a kind of celebrity figurehead and Harry in many ways is the ideal one 
Um, and so I think his role is important in it. But but I think as one of your, sorry, I'm, I can't remember the names, but as one of your guests rightly pointed out, he should not be, in my, in my opinion, he should not be talking about his own hardship mm. because his own hardship is almost irrelevant compared to the, the real sacrifices made by many of the soldiers who are taking part in the game. He should be hosting and, and presenting them and their hardships. And, you know, we, we, I, I have to say I, I disagree with, with one of your with guests there. Ni with, it, was, he, it was Nina that put to you that um, he shouldn't be... You know, the idea that what triggers people. Harry said that the death of his mother, that triggered him when he was in Afghanistan. The, the sort of, it all came back to him. We can't say what upsets people and what doesn't. shouldn't just be about... Yeah, a, lot, a, lot of soldiers, a lot of soldiers have lost their mother or their father, etc., it's not, it's not, I mean, OK, it's a big issue for the individual, but, but I don't think that kind of feeds into the, 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 the narrative of PTSD, which he's claiming to have. I think, you know, I think it's, it's, I, I know that an in, one individual can't read another individual's mind, but I, th I think his, his priority should be very much on the, on the real sacrifices, the tangible sacrifices made by the other soldiers concerned. Now, I, With respect, I, well, that's exactly he, what he's, he's doing. That's exactly he's what he's I'm, doing. I'm, and I'm making this he... documentary, that's exactly what he's doing. He's focusing on the stories of these people. We wouldn't have known these stories if the documentary series hadn't been made. We, we well, wouldn't uh, know uh, it. Uh, he could have been involved uh, without making it about him, though, and that's what not I about think him. Is... If you watch the series, it is not about him. It's only because the media are picking on it. it and he is perfectly entitled to, to describe his own feelings as a means of being showing empathy to the people who have suffered in other ways. You know, if he can talk. Yeah, I, I... He can talk about his mental, his mental problems and, and, his, and, 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 and all the stress and trauma that, that he has perfectly, rightly, you know, documented, then it means that people who are struggling can feel, I'm not alone, and people watching it will feel, I'm not alone. If even he feels that, or even, you know, if, if this is how he's overcome it, then I can overcome it too. I think that's fantastically inspirational. Well, you may well be right there. I'm, I, I wouldn't totally disagree with that. But, but when, when we look at the mo one of the most privileged people on the earth, bringing his own story into it, when he, in my opinion, and OK, I, you know, it's only one of many opinions, he should be focusing not on his, his travails and hardships, which are nothing really compared to what many of the other people have experienced. He should be focusing on highlighting what they've done. Now, great, if this, if this documentary does actually achieve that objective and and if it brings in money and other forms of support to these individuals then it's it's worthwhile whatever we think of it um, all. Lynn, what, what, Lynn, what, i just want to bring in sorry. lynn as well because yeah. give her a comment because when i'm listening to this lynn what i hear is potentially the difference between civilian and military you're thinking about this very much from an act of service uh, richard this is what i'm reading i might, may not be reading it right and then you're thinking it very much from the sort of normal human angle and people getting upset by various things you're saying stiff up a lip i mean lynn is that what you're hearing no, my, my main takeaway from this is, yes, I do agree that the media is picking on Harry and we have a responsibility to sometimes not hone in on these incidentals that I previously said, but at the same time, Harry is well aware what the media is going to do. And it's not as if we haven't heard his experiences before. I'm not going to demean them. He has every right, right to express them. But it would have been nice if he veered away from talking about himself and speaking about those who have really gone through hardship while being in service, as uh, the gentleman said, lost limbs and really suffered during their time. So that's the only frustration for me. It seems like, you know, once again, we're all concentrating on Harry, but I think, yes, it's a two-pronged approach where the media are to blame, but Harry is well aware of what the media is going to pick up. But what he's actually said in the first two episodes that I've watched wouldn't add up to 10 minutes. Mm. You know, so... Th but, and, and... Le le sorry, leadership. leadership is not about telling other people how tough it is for you. It's not that. That's not what leadership is about. Leadership is about understanding other people's hardships and helping exactly... them through those hardships. It's exactly what he's I'm doing. Not sure that, I'm not sure that it does that by explaining how tough it is for you. I mean, you know, I've led soldiers in battle. Not for one moment would I consider 
uh, talking about the difficulties I have and the problems I have with them. I think it's highlighting their problems, highlighting the help that they need is the really important part of this. And, and therefore, I don't really think what he's... OK, it may be only be for a short part of it, but I don't think it should be any part of it that he he kind of tries to evoke his own sympathy. I think there is... While, it, while I hope this documentary does uh, create sympathy for the... And, and support, not just sympathy, but support for the soldiers concerned, I, I don't think his... You know, we, we, we don't really need his own promotion, his own image in this. And, and I've also, you know, I've, I don't know how true this is or not, but I understand that Meghan Merkel is going to give a talk to, at the, to these soldiers about overcoming hardship and courage, etc. Now, again, I'm not, I, I don't know what she's going to say. I don't know why she's saying it, but I don't, I don't really think that's appropriate. It, it comes back down oh, again oh, yeah. to, the, to their overwhelming Can need, I think, to, to rehabilitate themselves after having... Can I just... I, I, yes, Richard, has he actually... Can, can, can I just ask you, Richard, have you actually watched the documentary? I've seen part of it. I haven't seen the whole thing, no. Right. And I also just want to, for the correction, obviously, Meghan Markle, Lynn, I could see your face uh, there. Um, uh, we do have to wrap this up shortly. Lynn, do you have any final comments based on what Richard was just saying? No, I'll just say, you know, there's, there's good and bad to take from this. Um, I'm happy that he's done this. I'm happy that it's mainly him and not Meghan there. I know she makes an appearance, but I don't see the need for her to do that. Um, but, yeah, I do think that we have a responsibility to not pick on these small things when it's a massively inspirational documentary, but at the same time, just a little bit fed up of Harry going on about his own experience constantly. All three of you, thank you very much for an in-depth conversation there about this new documentary.